Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your rigid bodies so that they inherit particle properties like orientation, linear velocity, and angular velocity. Beware that in order to use this technique, you need to use Cinema 4D 2025 and later. In this simplified scene, I have two collider objects, a tube and a disc, and I've put these collider tags on them. I have a background color, although that uh, makes no difference whatsoever, and I have this basic emitter, which is emitting uh, 10 particles per second, and it has uh, an initial velocity of uh, 800 centimeters per second, and some angular velocity, so these particles are spinning as they're emitted. Now, if I go down here, you will see that also I'm using a varied radius with uh, a main radius of 10 centimeters and a spread of 8 to create particles that are between 2 and 18 centimeters in radius. And if I go to my particle group and uh, have the draw radius activated, you will see that we are creating these particles that are going quite fast towards uh, the top right. Now, all you have to do is create a cloner, and I'm going to go and create a sphere that has a radius of 1. And that's because the cloner, we are going to set it to be in object mode, and drag the particle group in the object, and make sure that my particle scale is 100%. So now I'm going to emit these spheres on the particles, and they're going to inherit the radius and the colors, which I've randomized. In order for these rigid bodies to inherit the particle properties, you have to do the following thing. Right click on the cloner and uh, set them to rigid bodies. Uh, that's how simple it is. You don't have to do anything actually. Because now by default in the rigid body tag, you have this group that says initial state from particles. And by default, the orientation, the linear velocity and the angular velocity are propagated to the rigid bodies. So now if I press play, you will see that my particles get these initial speeds and initial spins, and uh, that's all you have to do. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.